Welcome back to a brand new episode of Non-Typical Nation. I'm your host, Brody Teal. This week, we have a special episode for you guys. This is a very unique one, something we've never done before. We're gonna be fishing and exploring Northeastern British Columbia. We're being guided by a company called Nature Fellas in pursuit of big bull trout on Williston Lake. We'll also be learning about the Peace River and exploring the fishing opportunities it has to offer. Enjoy. What's going on guys? We are in Hudson's Hope, British Columbia. I brought my buddy Ben with us and we are with Brandon with Nature Fellas. We met Brandon at the Edmonton Boat and Sportsman Show and we have just been super impressed with some of the fish you've been catching. We've seen some photos on social media, great big bull trout, lake trout, some rainbows. Um, you've been having one heck of a fishing season. So we had to come up and do some fishing with you. Um, so first of all, thanks for having us, Brandon. Well, thanks for coming. I we appreciate, appreciate it, it big Absolutely. time. Thank you, man. Yeah, awesome. You betcha. So here we are, morning one. What is the game plan for today? So I'm super excited you guys came. It's actually the last couple months you guys are able to fish the piece. So today I'm hoping we can get into some big bull trout, probably do a bunch of fly fishing for some rainbows, even some Lakers. If they show up, that would be awesome too. So we'll probably do some crankbaits. We use the CSTs, a little bit of jigging, a little bit of fly fishing, and uh, probably fish a stretch about 40 kilometers on the river and hopefully Perfect. we get lucky so okay sounds good so we're fishing the peace river this morning um so this is the last uh fishing season for the yeah, peace river in a few years i guess so yeah. what's going on there so sightsee dam is being built at fort st john so the valley between fort st john and hudson's hope is going to be completely flooded wow. so it's uh it's unfortunate but it's uh yeah last couple months for us to fish it and probably till the next five years you won't be able to get a boat on there. Interesting, yeah. so they're gonna dam up the river, um, but we've got a couple months to fish, so we're gonna head out there this morning and see what we can catch. Absolutely. Let's go, head let's on. go. Sounds good. <laughs> some some fish surfacing and uh, we're just going to do a few casts with the spinners to start off the day and see what happens and then right off those outcrops where that little outflow is is probably where you're going to find your rainbows yeah yeah Seen one. Seen one? Yeah, there we go. Got him, nice. We got one. First cast. Awesome. Nice. You called it. Hey, I got lucky. You called it. The sweet hook popped out nice and quick for us. The single barbless. And that is a beautiful little rainbow trout. Send them back. Okay guys, so we just hooked onto one first cast. Super cool. That was a lighter colored rainbow. Yeah. Um, you mentioned there's a couple different strains of rainbow trout um, in the river system here. Yeah, What can absolutely. you tell me about that? So there's a, there's a few actually. I know the, the most common ones are your Panasse and then your uh, Blackwater rainbows. Okay. And then there is the odd uh, Girard rainbow trout. So those are the ones that get the great big size. Oh, okay. But they're super rare in here. So. Yeah. Well, let's see how many we can catch. Yeah, today. let's get after okay. it. Eh? Let's go. Nice. nice. Massive rainbow. There we go. Nice. Look at that. So there we go, awesome. guys. A few one. casts into this day, and uh, we've hooked on to two. Yeah. One absolutely. really nice one right here, absolutely. right around 17, 18 inches. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. trout. Healthy trout. Yeah. Awesome, That's man. an awesome second fish of the day. Oh, oh yeah. We've got the uh, East River Lake trout here. Nothing of crazy size, but really cool markings on this fish's back. Really beautiful little fish. 
quite a few of these in the piece. Get a nice release on this guy and uh, hopefully catch one with some more size. <laughs> there he goes. Right on, man. Yeah. Awesome. So you got lake trout, some rainbows. rainbows We've and... seen some bull trout. Yeah, now we just need a bull trout and a net and then uh, anything plus that. The there bonus, we go. I guess. Yeah, okay. right on. Keep casting lines. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Fish on, boys. No, no. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. We got him. We got him. That's actually a bull trout. Is that a bull trout? That is a bull trout. So here we go. Our there first go, bull guys. trout in the net. Yeah. Look at that. We knitted our first bull trout. Non typical nation is made possible by these great brands Old Smokes Coffee. Crafted coffee for the courageous. Antler Obsession, Canada's number one big game supplement and attractant. Tacticam, share your hunt. Bulldog Targets, Canadian made to last a lifetime. Badlands Canada, it's all in your approach. Dave Booth Taxidermy, Northern Alberta's foremost wildlife studio. Kent Cartridge Canada, high performance shotgun cartridges. 222 Metalworks, Reconico Outdoors, APA Archery, Black Bear Remedies, Dry Shot Canada, The Palace, Kodiak LED Lighting, Skinner Creek Hunts, Nature Fellas, Old Smokes Outdoor Adventures, Battle River Cree Outdoors, Pure Passion Outfitting, Alberta Bush Adventures. This segment is brought to you by Tacticam. Share your hunt. The morning of day one, we caught more fish than I could have imagined. More fish than I could share with you on this episode. It was non-stop action. The quantity of fish and the diversity of fish in this river system truly is spectacular. So we just pulled up the shore for some lunch and decided to go throw some hook because the, the fish were just jumping everywhere. And like second cast, I got this beautiful trout. Look at this beautiful rainbow. Wow. Look at that. And off he goes. Okay hey guys, here we are. We're at another new spot. Cool thing about this river is there is fish all over the place. So we've caught pretty much each species of trout that is in the river system here. I'm gonna cast the spinner right into the current and see if we can hook on to uh, a rainbow or a bull trout. Yeah, look for him, man. Sweet, let's do it. Really nice colors on that fish, right? Yeah. Maybe another bull trout? Another bull trout, yep. On the dome craft, the CST. Just a beautiful fish, lots of energy. Right on, fun to catch. Whoa. Whoa. Oh yeah. yeah, nice. They're getting bigger. They're getting a little bigger, eh? Oh yeah, that is actually probably the biggest one today. Sweet little fish, eh? Beautiful colors on that bowl. There he goes. Get on, boys. Another bull trout in the net, eh? Okay guys, here we are. We made it off the river. I had a ton of fun today. Oh, me too. I know Ben also had a ton of fun today. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cameraman <laughs> caught some fish. We caught some rainbows. We caught some lake trout. We caught some bull trout. Um, pretty much everything we could have asked for today. We caught some great fish. Thank you so much for oh, taking us guys. out. Um, it was just a great day. So this section of the Peace River, you mentioned earlier, um, they're shutting down the fishing on it for a little while. What's going on with that? Yeah, so Sightsee Dam's getting built. So I've actually fished this whole section of the river since I was probably 13 years old or younger. So wow. grew up right on the river my whole life. Uh, we've caught some incredible fish, some big bull trout lakers for as long as I can remember, to be honest. World-class um, fishing. Oh, absolutely. Like world-class bull trout fishery, Yeah. 100%. And uh, no, it's getting shut down by the Sightsee Dam. So the, our, the dam is getting built by Fort St. John and then the valley between Hudson's Hope and Fort St. John is getting flooded. Who knows what the fishery is going to look like in the next uh, 
10 years. Yeah, well, yeah. we've seen some new bridges popping up around oh, yeah. here, and yeah. they are a heck of a lot higher than all the older ones. <laughs> so this water is going to be a lot higher. There's oh, yeah. going to be, this is going to be a totally different valley. Yeah, 100%. It'll be a, well, it'll be a lake. It'll that's be a thing. lake. It'll be a reservoir. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate because it is such a world-class bull trout fishery. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you for having us oh, out. thank you guys. You know, I know we won't be able to fish it again. Yeah. Um, and it's too bad because the fishing is incredible, but who knows? We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get out there 10 years from now yeah. and we'll be slaying them again. That's hopefully. right. So, yeah. so we got two more days, guys. We're going to be fishing Williston Lake uh, for lake trout and bull trout. I'm super excited. We're going to get back, get some rest tonight and up early heading to Williston Lake. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Awesome. Hey guys, we made it on shore. Tent is set up and we are going to get everything just settled in and then we're gonna go catch some lake trout. I am pumped right up. Um, we were spotting some on the fish finder. So uh, weather's good, conditions are good so far. So we're gonna get out there right away and catch some fish. All right, so we're just at the creek mouth here. We're gonna fish the tributaries in here. So we might actually hike up into the creek a bit. We're gonna start at the creek mouth where it meets the lake here, chuck some cranks around and hopefully find some big bull trout. Okay guys, so I was just about to cross this stream. Brandon had already crossed it. Ben decided to toss a line and he just hooked on to a bull trout. Super exciting. Brandon made his way back with the net and we're gonna see if we can bring this one in for the cameraman. Got him, boys! Yo! So that is a beautiful fish to start the trip. So yeah, I was just crossing this creek here, and I'm looking, and it's really shallow, and there's a nice drop off here. So usually when you find these drop off, there's a few bull trout schooled in in that deep hole. And sure enough, Ben threw a cast and hooked into one first cast. So that's a really nice, healthy bull trout probably a good four or five pound fish. Hopefully we can hook onto some bigger ones. Yep, that's a wonderful start. So we're just gonna get a nice release on this fish here, send them back. This segment is brought to you by Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. Well, we made it onto Williston Lake. What an absolutely beautiful setting. So it appears the majority of the bull trout have already made their way up the river systems to spawn. We knew we were coming into this fishing trip a little bit late to catch these big bull trout, but we're staying positive and we're going to keep at it. In the meantime, we're going to spend the evening of day one on Williston Lake trolling around looking for lake trout. Okay, Brandon, here we are, man. Evening of day two, I think it's right around four or five o'clock. We've got a few hours to fish here. We got into some bull trout this morning. We've got the downriggers dropped yep. right now, and we're just sort of fishing this uh, sort of channel and bay right in front of camp. Yeah, no, we're running about 25 feet, running some troller lures, and uh, sweet. hopefully we can hook into some lake trout. Doing awesome, this. awesome. Yeah. So we've had them down for a few minutes, yep. and we missed one hit. We, we did. almost had it. We've got one snag already, but there's definitely fish on the fish finder. Yeah, we're seeing lots, so it's only a matter of time. Now, awesome, things are looking yeah. promising. So hopefully this next clip is us hooking onto a big lake trout. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> there you go, guys. We got our first lake trout of the day on. Wow. 
Wow, incredible. Good fight, eh? Yeah. Here we go, there first we fish go. in the net, fellas. Awesome. Beauty. There we go, guys, the first lake trout of the day. Hitting the downrigger. That is just a ton of fun. There we go. And he goes down. Okay guys, here we are, our final day of fishing on Williston Lake with nature fellas. I'm super excited. We've got a beautiful morning today. We got some food in our bellies. We've got some Old Smokes coffee and the sun is shining. So it is time to go catch some fish. We're going a little ways down the lake today though, hey? Yeah, we're gonna go kind of in the mountain section of Williston and see if we can track down some lakers and bull trout up uh, a little further up the lake. So, okay, yeah. cool, cool. So yesterday we started out chasing some bull trout. Then we transitioned to uh, doing some fishing for some lake trout. This morning, are we gonna start with bull trout? I think we'll kind of have the same plan, just different area. Start with bull trout and then kind of get to the downrigging and jigging later on in the day. Okay, yeah. okay. So we got a little ways to go down the lake. Right now it's right around 8 a.m. So we got to get moving so we can catch some fish. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's go guys. Let's go. Right on guys, we got a white fish on. Look at that. That is actually a Stunning. good sized white fish. There okay. we go, beauty. Oh, that's a nice fish, Don't buddy. That, guys. Right on guys, just hooked onto a white fish. First fish of the day for myself. Super exciting. There you go guys, look at that. Beauty. This segment is brought to you by Dave Booth Taxidermy, Northern Alberta's foremost wildlife studio. So we're just cruising, trying to find a spot for some lake trout or bull trout. And we found, a, what would you call this? A cove, yeah. And we just sort of cruised in here and we found the stream that feeds into this. It's nice and narrow and tight and it's quite deep here. But uh, these are the streams that these bull trout go up to spawn. So. We're going to give this another shot, guys, and see if we can hook onto something. But just absolutely epic. Super, super cool in here. I just hooked a massive trout. It's been following me. Two or three casts. We just got into a new place. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is nuts, man. Look at that, man. This is what we came here for. We knew we'd find him somewhere, man. A little bit of a rodeo is always fun. Got him. Whoa! <laughs> Look at Look that at fish. That, boy. This is what dreams are all about. You see it, you dream it, and then someday you do it. It's crazy. Okay, okay guys, we just got into a new spot. Fourth cast, we got this beautiful 10 pound trout. There's more chase, so we gotta get this guy back in the water and catch some more. Okay, guy, there you go. Thank you for the fight. Wow. Incredible. That was the fifth cast. Casted right on top of him. As soon as that hook hit the water, he bit it. Awesome, guys. There we go. First one in the net. First big one in the net. We're going to let him go. We've seen some bigger ones in the water. Absolutely. Awesome. We'll safely let him in. There he goes. 
beautiful. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay guys, well we are wrapping up day three here with nature fellas. We just got off of Williston Lake. The boat is on the trailer. And I wanted to say thank you so much for having us out. Really appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. It was yeah. a blast. It was an absolute blast. We got two world-class bull trout. And you know what? We missed the peak catching season. Usually it's that early to mid-June, hey? Yeah, but like kind of late May into mid-June, it's just uh, phenomenal bull trout fishing. They're all kind of at the most of the creeks and okay. the, kind of in the bay even in some of the some of the bays in the lakes so yeah. so that's when we're going to come back we're going to come next back next year right in that peak season but you know what we had a blast we caught a ton of rainbows we caught some lake trout and we got a bunch of bull trout as well and two world-class fish there's not many places you can come to catch 30 even 40 inch bull trout but nature fellas these are the guys you want to contact for that guys again thank you so yeah, much thank you and thank you guys for watching we greatly appreciate it to nontypical.org to get your non-typical nation branded clothing today. And keep up with the team on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and at nontypical.org. Bulldog Targets. Easy two-finger arrow removal, lifetime warranty, and superior stopping power. Visit BulldogTargets.com and use promo code NTN20 to save 20% off. Hunt, fish, and explore the Saskatchewan wilderness with Pure Passion Outfitting. All-inclusive bear hunting, waterfowl hunting, and jet boat fishing trips. Book now at PurePassionOutfitting.com. 222 Metal Works. Premium handcrafted metal designs. Manufactured by hunters for hunters. With pristine traditional First Nation land overlooking river bottoms, hillsides, coolies, and agriculture, Battle River Cree Outdoors specializes in Saskatchewan waterfowl and big game hunts. If you've ever gone to the range by yourself and tried to spot your own impacts, you know what a challenge that is. Connect your Tacticam LR to your smart device. Problem solved. <laughs>